Hello, 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 my yoga loves. So, uh, it's January for my uh, yoga patrons, and we are working today on the law of potentiality. And it's um, just a concept in yoga that the very fact that we exist means that what we are capable of, our potential, um, is limitless, right? So, I want you to absorb today's practice as potential. So if you kind of already feel like your practice has a rhythm, I want you to expand beyond that in a new way. That can mean focusing on your breath more, maybe it's getting a little deeper into the pose, or if you tend to be a type A person who's going, going, and forcing it every time, Maybe it's actually backing off of a pose and just letting it exist with a little bit less effort. So just um, some opportunities there. The concept is much deeper than that, but uh, we've only got 20 minutes and I'm trying to like give you all the yogas. So if you're new here, please like and subscribe and share. It's the way my business can grow. And of course, always drop a comment, drop a line, let me know what I can do for you. So let's get started in child's pose, immediately coming into ujjayi breath. So ujjayi breath, the mouth is closed, and we're breathing through the nose, focusing on a firm exhale. Kind of sounds like Darth Vader breathing, right? Like, so you want to feel a constriction at the back of the throat, helping force the air out, and that'll actually help stimulate the throat chakra. We can talk about chakras another time. Today we are potential, infinite potential. Settle in. Take your left arm and thread it across your body, pressing both shoulders equally down. Switch sides. Press up to all fours, take three cow cat. I love this idea that we are infinite potential, right? We can be anything we want. It's kind of this idea that our mind is greater than our matter. And so if we can get our mind to be complete and total love, then our being will be the same. When you've done three, I've lost count because I'm too busy talking. Come to downward facing dog. So in your down dog, what is possible here? Can you tilt your tailbone even one inch higher? It's okay if you have to bend the knees to do that, okay? Bring your feet to your hands however you want to. I come to a halfway lift. We're gonna pause in our halfway lift here. Left hand to right ankle or knee, and we're gonna twist. Right arm up. Back to halfway lift. Other side, getting a nice rotation in the rib cage. Back to halfway lift. Pause here. Bend the knees, rag doll. Oh my God, what is up my pants? Y'all, we don't know what's happening. Okay, just let it go. Other side. 
Gently pressing the hip out as you pull the shoulder open. Back to the center. Hands to heart center. Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. This right here is yoga. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Plant your hands, drive the knees towards the armpits. High push up. Low push-up, up dog or cobra. You know me, I'm 99% of the time going to do a cobra. Downward facing dog, breathe. Stay here in your breath. And I just love this idea of the creative consciousness, right? Like we are all part of this consciousness together. Bring your feet to your hands, halfway lift. Feet are at 12 o'clock, knees bend, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bring your arms down by your side, palms face forward, press up onto your toes. Hinge at your hips, drinking bird. Heels drop back down, arms come back up, Utkatasana. Hands to heart center, twist. I go between my legs, but if you can reach the outer edge of your outside leg, do it. Hands back to heart center, other side, twisting, opening up. Hands back to heart center. You got it. Stay for five, four, three, two, forward fold. Halfway lift. Grab a block if you'd like. Make life easy. We're going to work on grabbing our big toes here. You're going to take your peace fingers, your first two fingers, wrap them around your toes. Bend your knees if you need to. Tuck your chin to your chest. Stay for a couple of breaths, and then work on straightening the legs, pulling the head down, tailbone up. Release your toes, roll up. I'm throwing this in. It's not part of the flow I have planned. But because we are full of potentiality and we are in community together and we are raising a vibration together, let's fly. Let's come to crow. You're going to be fine. Use your block if you need it. Hands are going to come to the ground. Knees are going to reach for the armpits. Mine can't reach. But they're going to attempt. Tilt forward. You're going to come onto the toes. Maybe this is it. Gosh, I have not done this since my surgery. I don't think I will. Stay in your breath. You can come out if you need to. You can rest your head on the block. Right? If you're super scared. Or bring your feet onto the block. And set up that way. Play with your crow here. Play, play, play. Tailbone high. When you're ready, release. We'll meet in yogi squat. <sighs> I still have like three more weeks before I'm released post-op. I'm pretty sure I'm not even supposed to be practicing, but like... <sighs> How do you not yoga for six weeks when you yoga every day for a decade? I don't know. Anyways, stay for three. 
Always walk this down the block if you need to. Right hand to the ground, left arm twist up. Wrap it behind the back, stack your shoulders. Untwist, back to the center, other side. Wrap it around. Unwrap, back to the center, pause. Downward facing dog. Pedal out. Let's continue our flying with some frog leaps. If you're super scared of being upside down, you can set up near a wall. All you're gonna do, Shoulders under wrist, pardon me, wrists under shoulders. Come up onto the toes, hop. Hopping to try to get your hips over your shoulders. Maybe you pause, catch some air time. I'm gonna not, so that way I don't do anything else um, not prescribed. So do it, give yourself 10, take a break, Pause, breathe, you'll be fine. And use the wall, right? So to show you on the wall, right? The wall's gonna catch me no matter what happens. And because the wall is there, you might be a little braver to try to get the hips stacked. Once you've done your 10, Let's come to the mat, coming on to the back. Restorative bridge. Grab your block or a pillow under the hips. You want it to where the low back can hang. And just settle here. So our spine is our vitality and our breath is our life source. So together, keeping control of our breath and keeping a supple spine help keep us open to what's possible, to the potential of the universe. I think you can hear my roommate laughing, sorry. Press through your heels. Lift the hips, remove the block. Pause here, windshield wiper the knees. Walk your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Drop both knees towards the right. If you need to put a block under your knees so you can truly rest in the pose, do that. I feel this mostly on the top leg hip because that rotation for me is difficult. You might not feel it at all, or you might feel it somewhere else. Or I'll just feel it's a little different. I get asked a lot, like, where should I feel this? Where should I feel that? <sighs> Short of sharp, stabbing pain, you feel it wherever you feel it. Back to the center, legs stay, feet stay wide, twist to the other side. You can goal post the arms or put them in a T. Whatever feels good. That's why we're here. To leave better than we can. Bring your legs long, arms by your side. When we come into Savasana, the entire purpose is to work on having space between our thoughts. Giving the mind an opportunity to exist. The 
that will connect us to the greater consciousness of ourselves and the world. Come back into awareness, making your way to a fetal position, pausing here. As you're ready, press yourself up to a simple seat. Let your eyes stay closed. your hands to heart center. And the concept of us practicing together apart is definitely in alignment with the law of potentiality. Together we say, Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, please share any comments or feedback, like, subscribe, follow, share, all of the things, and have a wonderful day.